Well, as you can see, Kimberly got here, and as you can see, all that barking and posturing is, it's nothing but a big mouth. Uh, a lot of that is lack of confidence. Buster needs to get out more in the world. He has, again, changed tremendously from when he was here a year ago, um, but he still needs more, and he's one of these kind of dogs that I think you're always going to have to be working with. He loves to work. He loves to learn. He's got some great skills, but he's always going to be reactive to strangers. He has not had one single bite incident since we've been here. He has charged at a few people. So what we've learned to do is that we simply, when visitors come to our home, we sit them on the back porch with a bag full of hot dogs like he's doing with Kimberly. And it takes about, what, 10 seconds to buy his love. Buster is now looking for a home. And as you can see, Samantha's been running around here under our feet. He has no trouble at all with her. There are horses in the background. He doesn't react to them. It's mostly people. And I think a lot of it is that he loves, he loves life and he just wants to be part of things and he just doesn't quite know how. He's kind of like a young boy with ADD. He's in the front of the classroom, he's being a bully, but he really doesn't mean to be. And Buster's not a bully, he just, he's just Buster. So live at lunch from Dreamweaver Farms, we've got a special treat for you guys. This is the first of three dogs that you're going to meet today. We realize that we've gotten a little behind, so we're going to catch up. We're going to introduce you to three wonderful dogs looking for homes. And here is the first one, and this is Buster. Live at lunch from Dreamweaver Farms.